Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, Amrick Show Guapo, man. Street Certified News. And we back with another one. So today's story um, is has to do with the rapper Lil Durk. And one of his, you know, rappers on his label recently, uh, an artist by the name of uh, THF Bezu, was recently arrested in Chicago. And reports are saying that uh, there were multiple machine guns in his possession. Um, so this is a pretty big charge. Today we're going to get into that story and how it could potentially affect um, Lil Durk. And with all of these, you know, new rapper Rico cases going on, um, how, you know, an artist on your label could potentially pull you into, you know, a fair case. THF Bezu government name, Devon Shea Collier, is a rapper from the THF 46 uh, set in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, he's known to be a prominent figure of the record label uh, OTF Records. Um, and he had especially close ties with Lil Durk and uh, the late King Von. In 2014, THF Bezu was arrested at Lil Durk's residence for a 2009 homicide uh, of Dominic Barnes, uh, a charge he was later cleared of. And then in 2022, there were rumors of him and another OTF associate robbing and taking the OTF chain from fellow OTF rapper Mimo 600, uh, symbolically firing him from the label. Uh, just this week, there were reports that uh, the rapper Bezu was arrested in Chicago with multiple machine guns in his possession. Though reports remain sketchy, and there have been no reports from the state of Illinois or the federal prosecutor's office. Um, most believe that he was arrested and that he had, you know, guns in his possession. In an ironic twist, however, uh, there have also been reports and there was an Instagram story video that seemed to verify um, the fact that feds did a late night raid on O Block seemingly hours after THF Bezu's arrest. We're not sure if that raid uh, had anything to do with the arrest of the rapper, but him being arrested and then hours later, a, a raid on O Block, the timing is very close. So with all the recent Rico arrests going on, there have been people that questioned what rapper could be next. If you watched the previous story that we reported on, uh, where we spoke on the, the Rico charges facing uh, Young Thug and Gunna, there were images that surfaced right after we reported that story that seemed to show that Georgia officials are also targeting Lil Baby's 4PF. And also with, you know, the recent arrest of the O-Block 5 and all of that stuff that was going on with King Von, FBG Duck, um, the arrest now of THF Bezu, multiple machine guns, and now you have a late night raid of O-Block. I would assume this is going to be a very sensitive time for Lil Dirk. I don't believe he has anything to do with what's going on. You know, he like I said, he's a multi-platinum selling artist. You know, his job is to make money. Now, there may be people around him that's not making as much money, so then they have to resort to these types of things. Um, but, you know, as long as there's no communication or any sort of uh, criminal activity, criminal organization, that type of Rico stuff going on, man, look, man, Lil Durk will be fine. We will continue to report on the THF Bezu story as more reports come in. Like I said, there was no official press releases. There was no news story. Um, you know, we <clears throat> we searched his government name as well as his rap name. We searched Lil Dirt. We searched anybody associated with OCF. Uh, and they were all, you know, smaller uh, rumor type of sites. There wasn't nothing that was really solid saying this is what he was arrested for. This is what they. But like I said, <clears throat> A few days ago, reports came out that he was arrested, and then a video came out maybe a day later saying that Old Block got raided. Um, we don't want to make this video too long, man. It's your boy MX Show Guapo, man. Hey, man, stay in tune, man. You feel me? Stay in tune, man. The most reputable source of urban news, man. Street certified news, man. Like, subscribe, man. Smack that subscribe, man. We out.